My name is Guy Pavello. I'm the show and technical director for Drake's Big as the What Tour. Shows like that, anything that has those pop elements with a lot of moving parts, you just want comms, you want headsets, you want to be able to communicate with, with other people. So that way you're not kind of running around with just your radio. Communication is extremely important and key. And compared to some lightweight systems we've used in the past, moving up to the Riedel for Drake has proven to be a night and day type experience. I'm almost positive that you wouldn't even be able to have the show functioning the way it does now without the wireless Riedel comp system. You would be able to do it. Moving to the wireless Bolero and the artist stations has opened up the flexibility to take the comm with me. We un unplug from this. Don't even take the headset off. We plug straight in the Bolero, walk away wherever we gotta go. And then when I come back, unplug from one, plug into the other, and none's the wiser, which is fabulous. <laughs> There's no annoying pop when you plug it in either. The best benefactor of going in director mode is the uh, pre-programming, that you can pre-program your show before you even get there. So I can just sit there and program my hotel room, put all my IP addresses in, hit the multicast button, let it populate all the way down, and then I'm start doing my conferences and start putting the names in and all the belt packs. And once I get the belt packs and all everything all put together, all I have to do is just register and go. I'd say the most uh, important feature of the, the Riedel for me is its ability to sort of filter out background noise. I don't really know what's happening or how it works, but it does seem like magic. The clarity aspect of it is what makes it great because I don't have to struggle to speak to people. The audio quality of the system is phenomenal. Like. I've heard different belt packs, I've heard different um, panels, and this one like, on AS67 with the artists or even the 1024 mainframe system, it's pretty clear. It's a big, loud show. There's 16,000 people at minimum in here every night, and I've never had a problem hearing anything whatsoever. If people can't hear the call that's being made, that's not safe no matter what the situation may be, whether it is a pyro option, whether it is an automation or you know, a security concern. If we need to stop something, or let's say our artist Drake is in a position that we feel comfortable shooting pyro over his head, we can make sure that that doesn't happen in a split second. Time's money, and when you save a lot more and you don't stop the show, or you don't, heaven forbid, hurt somebody because you lost communication with the show, it's worth every second.